It's feedback gaming. Welcome back. How are we all doing today? Feeling good? I'm feeling pretty good. As you probably gathered, there has been a little bit of gap in recording since this episode compared to the last. Yeah. Because, as you can see, well, actually, you can't see anything, but you will see in a moment, basically, as I am a little bit more uh, on form. So, what do we got going on here? We have some very messy front lines here, and that's not making me a happy bunny. So I think what we'll probably do is kill the front lines. And who is this front line here? This this white one. Is it? I still quite understand why this guy had a shield by his name. Oh, okay, this is the tank division. Okay, that's good. So the tanks are shifting further northward from here. That's okay. So we can actively cut them off here. So do that. And two tanks, two. Go here. That's good. So you guys can hold out here. I'm trying to figure out what divisions we have here. Let me just collect all these guys. Drag them here. What do we got? So we have... 23 of Albert's divisions. So Albert is going to be stationed here. And he's going to go here. Perfect. And everyone else is going to be based here. Now, have I done that the wrong way around? I don't actually know. Maybe. We'll see in a moment. Rommel is going to push into Moscow. And then you are going to push here. Okay, I really like that. That looks beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. We're making convoys now. We don't need as much motorized. We are pumping out lots of tanks. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah, everything's great. Look how many guns we've got. Now, I don't know what's happened, but there's been some kind of change to how equipment's gathered and collected. It feels like when a nation capitulates, we're getting more guns. The Mass 36. Who makes this? We have 78,000 of these! I think this is the reason why that Germany keeps beating the Soviet Union so often, because they've got like unlimited supply of infantry equipment, which to be fair is your bare bones equipment really, it's what kind of props up all the other equipment. Right, we're gonna let everyone maneuver into position, in the meantime we are gonna micro our tanks. Goodbye infantry division. Goodbye. I'm gonna plow right into here. Put you here. And then. Oh, he's counter attacking. Can we go here? Then go back to here. It's good, perfect. And the tank is now gonna go here and then here. I wanna avoid the big river here because that's gonna disable our ability to make a successful push. Reinforce boys with a full combat width yet? Not quite. The infantry don't have signal companies. I think I want to change that. I don't think I've got enough motorized for this. No, I don't. So I was better off keeping the motorized on there. I think we'll double up here and do that. I realize I've got a lot of excess, haven't I, with the AA guns I'm making? Okay. Um, Alright, so we've killed that pocket. That's good. You, you guys are here. The tanks have moved back because that's what they do. You guys are moving forward again. How have you managed to get there? Okay, we need to stop attacking. It ain't working anymore. Go back. All oh, these tanks are completely decimated. These tanks are shredded. How are we doing when it comes down to air again? I'm really curious about this. No, air, no. So I think there's some kind of bug that's happened. I think due to... No, there's either two things here going on. One, the AI is getting confused because I've not got planes up. But they have got planes. And they've got a lot of planes too. Yeah, they have a lot of 7,000 max. Um, so the, computer, the AI is getting really confused. It's like, where do I put my planes? Because I'm not fighting anyone's planes. So the AI gets confused where to put them. 
Or they see that these divisions have got a lot of AA built into them. Air attack. Is there an air defense as well? I think air attack is air defense as well. It's like a two stats but rolled into one. And because they see that this is very high, they're actively avoiding putting planes up because they know they can't beat them. That's my conclusion. I'm not sure how solid it is though. But there's a chance that might be what is happening. Can we overrun them? Can we do the overrun? Yeah, we do. What? Ha that gives me flashbacks of Hoi 2 that. Where you overrun someone and they still fight behind your lines. Like, what? Alright, are we in position yet? I think so. You can go, so go. You are still maneuvering in position. There's some divisions here. Oh no, we've moved those off now, that's good. We're moving you guys over, that's good. We need infantry attack. How much command power we've got? Quite a bit. The infantry attack guys are very good. I like them a lot. Extra 15% attack is insane. This guy's an engineer, so he has fortress bus and scavenger. Nah, it's not as good as infantry expert. And we have no command power, so that's the end of that. The dreams are over. We're gonna do this. Okay, this front line is way too big right now. Are we not good? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Something's gone wrong because. 21 division. So who is this? Something's gone really wrong. Okay, but. So I have to manually draw the front line by dragging it. I can't just drop it in. Is that what just happened there? Okay, we've got it good now. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, they're all moving now. That's good. That's good. That's good. I just spot that these guys don't have any orders. How come your front line's demolished as well? When you think you understand the front line system, and then it throws you a fastball like this. So what we're going to do is draw the front lines instead of just dropping them on. I think that's going to fix that problem. And this guy is going here. That's right, that's what I want. I want to drop that off now. So there you go, the front lines now look a lot. So here we go, so we've got... Yeah. Okay, so what we've got now is the main field marshal front line here. A separate front line with the general only. Do you know what I've realized? This isn't a good idea. This guy should have a separate field marshal. And we're going to do that now. And for some bizarre reason, the field marshal detached again. I think I'm doing this by mistake, you know. I'm not going to blame the game here. I think this is me. I think I'm clicking something and it's bugging out. We're going to go reinforce rate, which we can't because we've got command power. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think when you've got two separate fronts, I think it's a better idea to, to have two separate field marshals. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is move you down. There you go. And we're going to give you guys a different color because it's really confusing. We've got like three shades of orange. Okay, so we've got reconnaissance sorted. The engineer is good because it gives an extra boost into forts. And this is rivers, I think. That's also nice. I think we're going to go for signals, though, because I like to get that extra reinforce rate. That is a spicy meme. If I wanted to, I can shuffle these guys around. What did I actually do just then? Oh, I just moved them. He didn't actually move them in, in the order on battle. It just moved them on the screen. You guys are attacking. You guys are attacking. So this guy's got a different arrow to this one. This indicates it's the field marshal's order. This indicates it's the general's order. But they technically should all be the same. Uh, i got to give it to the AI guys. They are very good at going around the back of me. Giving me that uh, poke from the back. Actually, we're going to go here. Go here, go here. What? We're low on steel? Well, there's one way of fixing that. Oh, actually, no, we're not. It's because we don't own France, and they've got all the steel. 
Can't even believe that. Alright, okay, where do we get more steel? Then we go here and here, right? Gonna do all these repairs as well in the meantime. Done. Alright, five speed. Slow. Okay, so the AI has just made a, a very heroic push into me. <laughs> oh man! The front line system is, requires so much hassle. Oh, I'm really not a fan of it all. And you, why are you up here? You're meant to be here. I'm going to put you here. Okay, alright, okay, okay. Alright, we're going to attack. Everyone's going to attack just to create a diversion here. Alright, that's it. That'll create a pocket in the north. The front line just dismantled then. Did anyone just see that? Ugh. Okay, just a heads up, guys. Please don't give Paradox shit for this. This is a beta patch. I am playing an un a not fully tested version of the game. So just be aware of that, okay? Um, it it's alright for me to give a lot of smack talk for the final release of the game. But this is a release that isn't actually fully tested yet. It's an early release for you guys to test out, and I I like to play the lights versions because I get to understand how the game mechanics evolve and change, and how I get to play the game differently in the future. Maybe, possibly, we'll see. All right, go here, go here, go here, go here, go here, and go here. Oh, and they've uh, conveniently made a lovely pocket for us here, too. Oh, how nice. Can we go here, please? And then here, and then you guys go here. I think what's happened is when I drew the front lines, uh, the AI's seen gaps, and it's just immediately moved into those gaps. I think that's what's happened. By the way, if you want to know how to cancel all orders and activate orders, hold, hold control. Something I discovered by mistake. <laughs> Completely by mistake. Um, yeah, so if you've got separate orders, all on a field marshal. Hungry gr proclaims greater hungry. Nice. Um, yeah, so if you've got multiple generals with multiple different orders, with field marshal orders as well as general orders, you can hold shift to activate all plans and kill all plans. There you go, the more you know, eh? Look, the AI here is actively pushing here to try and release this pocket. That is so smart. I really like that. That is really nice. I like that. Alright, we're going to kill this front line. Then we're going to make a new front line. You know what the problem's going to be now, guys? Do you know what the problem... I'm going to draw a front line with the field marshal. I don't usually do this, but I'm doing it just this one instance. Why? Uh, because I don't want to draw the front lines until they're moved around. Okay, we've got you here. I'm not sure what to do with you. I guess what we should do, really, is try and make a big pocket here. That would be smart, right? I like that idea. That's a nice idea. Just a little cheeky look at New Zealand for no apparent reason. I've got a new wireless mouse. And every now and then, if you notice, I seem to like do a massive scroll to the bottom of the screen. And I think it's the wireless mouse like having spazzing out. I'm not sure... Doesn't make a great deal of sense, but that's the only explanation I can think of what's happening. All right, we're gonna go here, here, and then here. Tano Tuva has capitulated. Oh, I thought they'd annex them, but they've not. It's the Japanese. Oh, I really like it when you shred Cass as well with your AA. It feels good, but I've not managed to do much of that recently because the AA doesn't bother. Awesome, and now you guys can go here, here, and here, and then here, here, and here. These are freebies now, aren't they? Because, I mean, these guys can't put up a fight anymore. Look at the strength of their divisions. Well, me, on the other hand, I've got 288,000 guns. What have I got the most of? 60,000 ZH-29s. What are they? I don't reckon... I if anyone knows in the comments what those guns are, what nationality those guns are, let me know, because I have no clue. Uh, 
Uh, this field marshal needs organiz... Ooh. Now, if he gets... Hang on a second. I thought these are generals. You can't... We're going for both of them. Oh my god, we can even go for another. We can make makeshift bridges. I'm confused. I thought these ones were only for general. But this is guy's a field marshal. How is he... I don't get it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Alright, that is an attack line that's a little bit too adventurous. Alright, go here, get into position, and go. So this is a fairly wide front line, so in this instance it probably shouldn't spread out too thick. So we should be able to not get them to roll around the back of us when they go one division rolls around the back of us. Oh, this is it, boys! The Battle of Kursk, even though Kursk is... Where is Kursk? Is it here, isn't it? No. Oh, where is Kursk? Someone's going to give me shit in the comments here, aren't you? You're going to be like, Oh my god, feedback. I do seem to recall the Battle of Kursk was a battle where the Germans tried to make a big encirclement on the Soviet advance. Uh, but the Soviets were aware of it and they were very heavily entrenched. And it resulted in them not able to close the pocket that the uh, Soviets had made. Oh, look at this. They, uh, they are doing exactly what I thought they would. Attack! We're almost there, boys! Go! Freedom! Oh my god, look at this! Glorious pocket! The god pocket. I'm wondering how the AI is going to behave with the fact that I've split the front line now. I'm really nervous they're going to get rate confused. Maybe the solution to this is to have some infantry with this field marshal to fill the front line. Like some cavalry, for instance. Some motorized divisions to kind of reinforce it. What do you think, guys? I think that's the secret here, and that prevents the AI from just running, rolling around the back of you. Alright, everyone get to position. Oh, we can't even do that command power. That was a waste. Italy would like to join, so would Romania. We've taken out their ships here. We're intercepting their convoys here. I think the uh, fleet's eliminated. What? How? I want to know where these ships are. They might be stuck in the Black Sea, maybe? Or they've got an Eastern fleet that's sat and not doing nothing? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Alright, go. Where are you? You're here. Oh my god, the push to Moscow. Oh, damn! Imagine how many overruns I'd be getting right now if I had air support here. Because I'd be reducing their speed with air superiority. Oh, so glorious. Oh, they've lost Leningrad to the uh, British, who are our puppets. Nice. Alright, where's the capital of Russia now, eh? Is it... Not here, because they've lost that. I'm not sure, boys. I'm really not sure. Where's the capital of Russia? Not in this big pocket, is it? Did I not draw a big front? Oh, shit, I didn't. I was going to draw individual front lines, but I never did. Alright, so you guys are here. Uh, I guess what we could do is... This. And then go here. And we can also fire a staff office plan as well. I keep saying that so fast. Staff office plan. Yeah. And the Blitzkrieg has been completed. Yeah, I talked about that earlier in the game, didn't I? I said that we should probably invest into uh, doctrines early on so we can complete them. And we delayed it. And I can kind of see why you never delay it now. Because as you could see just then, that didn't result. Oh, Kiev is their capital! Oh, that's so awesome. All right, go. 
Are these guys moving in? Not really. I think they're in supply still, aren't they? Well, yeah, because the one, they've got the capital. And uh, two, there's probably a lot of their victory points in here as well. Can you, like, get out of here, please? Oh, we got to Kiev. Can we take this city as well? Take all the victory points, it should reduce the supply. Ah, there we go, there's no supply in there anymore. Capital now is Gorky. But you know, guys, I'll be honest with you, I've never even heard of that city before. Never heard of it. That's a new one from me. Get, get some interesting lags at the moment. Uh, go to the UK. Uh, recruitments. I might do some of those just for a laugh at the end of the game, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Is there a city there? Yeah, there is. Alright, I'm getting some intense lag right now. The game is going quite slow for me. How are they still alive? I'll never know. Let's have a look. Um, 88%. I would like if there was some kind of national focus that the Soviets could do that increased their surrender limit. You know, like the way that China can increase it from 80% to 95%. I'd really like if there was a Soviet version of that as well. That'd be cool. Close the pocket, gentlemen. Can't even do total mob. The enemy isn't strong enough. Oh, and I'm not getting 80% war support. So there you go. It's not possible. We have the ultimate AA gun now. That uses a credible amount of steel. That's the explanation why my steel usage is so high right now. What puppets have we got? We've got Australia, haven't we? Brit oh, Britain actually. Britain's perfect. Britain is perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. There we go here. Alright, we're just cleaning up the mess now, aren't we? Oh, hello, we have a new capital. Go here. What kind of speed are we getting right now? 4.4. Uh, river, deep snow, supply and infrastructure, and there goes the Soviet Union. We have the most victory points. Italy has a minuscule amount. So, really, there's there's no one else who can take anything other than Italy, uh, uh, Japan and us. So, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take everything past the Urals. So this is a classic strategy that you can do to prevent the AI from getting land. I'm not going to go for the extreme example, because the extreme example is where you, you block off all the coastal regions and border regions of, China, of Japan to be able to do it. But I'm not going to go as extreme as that. That's right, guys. Feedback gaming is not an extremist. You've heard it first. Hit it her first. All right, we're going to go for these... I don't actually think these... Oh, actually, now think about it. These do. I'm also nervous, too, that the Japanese may try... Oh, shit. They may try and puppet the Soviets. That's one other concern, too. How many points does it say I've got? It'd be really cool, cool if it like said like there was a, like a light bulb here, like a green light or a red light, and then when you had taken too many light, too many states because you've gone over your score limit, like a red light lit up. So it, like it just gave you lots of because you, your eyes are constant like you're moving your eyes here, then you're moving your eyes here, you're, like moving them back and forth over and over again. Don't you guys love peace conferences? Aren't they fun? They're the best part, boy. Four, right? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm really curious to see what land they've taken. How many points have I got? Five. Oh, I've got loads now. Say loads and I instantly use them all up immediately. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like they've taken most of it anyway. The, the order they've taken stuff though is kind of weird. Oh, technically I should grab that. There we go. I was gonna, if there was gonna be a lot less, lots of left over and it wouldn't be this big scrambled mess, uh, what I would have done is made a puppet of the remaining territory. Of like the Soviet Union. That's what I would have done. All right, so we have one war remaining. It's between the United States and pretty much the Chinese Japanese Empire. Uh, well, it's, well, it's more than just. Well, it's more than just uh, China now. It's got India as well and Pakistan. <laughs> cool. What episode are we on, guys? I've lost track of like when we're recording, so this is episode six. So I think I should go for a little bit longer, right? We can just do some other fun little things. So we could probably be better off taking out the Italians too. I think the Italians have been I think the Italians have been quite rude by taking all the land we've got here, haven't they? I think that's very rude of them. So we're gonna put one here, go here. To be honest with you, we probably should be a bit more precise than that. Why is the field marshal detached? This keeps happening. Am I clicking something by mistake? Oh my god, this guy's a god! So many traits. If we can get adaptable, this would make this guy a living god. Right, move everyone down. It's like we've lost some divisions as well. Like, there's three missing. There you go. There you go. Alright, so we are going to plan an invasion of Italy. Because they were ever so rude when they bugged the game out and they took... They took out France, which is really annoying. Did I...? What the hell is that front line? Dave. We should, probably should have a field marshal here that's a mountain specialist, shouldn't we? I don't usually... I'm not that usually articulate when it comes down to like where I place my divisions and whatnot. I probably should. But the mountaineers are on this guy. So... Yeah... There's a bit of a gap there, that's going to create a gap in the front line when we advance. I don't know what to do with you. We don't border the Italians, do we? I guess we should probably do this. And then have another dude here, right? Ah, uh, the overlap looks so awful. I think you have to draw a field marshal front line here. But the only problem with that, let's just try this out. This is something I've never experimented with. So if I draw a field line here, and I delete these. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just predicting. Right, so you draw it here. And if you draw a front line, it, it, it takes all of the land. Interesting. Um, these guys are the mountaineers, so they're going on the front line. Where are the rest of my mountaineers? Oh, I, I merged them, didn't I? I remember now. I can only make one more anyway. We'll make one more just for the sake of it. Okay. Mechanize three. Push that to the top. Convert old tanks. Huh. Maybe. Okay, so we drew that front line there, and then we've got one spare general here. 
And then we're going to drag another front line. No, that's the that's the Swede board, Swiss border. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss border. Oh, there we go. And there we go. All right. Okay. I get it now. I get it. I get it. I get it. So to do this accurately now, what I would also do is this. We draw a field battle, a field marshal's front line here. And I think that's done it right, hasn't it? So that this is the orange guy. And this is the... No, it's not right, that. Is it? We'll just manually do it. And then put you here. There we go, that's right. And that looks about right. Great, okay. All right, we'll let them all get into position first. Um, you know what I really would like? If you double-clicked on them, instead of going to the divisions, like if you double-click it, it goes to the actual front line. I don't know why I'd prefer that. Maybe I'll have to think about that, actually. I'm not sure if that's actually what I want. Promises of peace! <laughs> Develop iron ore in Kursk. Develop iron ore mines in Belgorod. Hmm... Interesting. Alright, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon if you hit the bell icon. If you don't hit the bell icon, it means you're basically not subscribed at all. So make sure you hit that bell icon. I hope you have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.